So now let us understand the provisions of the Companies Act with respect to redemption of preferences. The Companies Act, Section 80 of the Companies Act 1956. This has actually been replaced by Companies Act of 2013 and the section containing redemption of provisions of the redemption of preference shares is in Section 55. So first and foremost, only fully paid up preference shares can be redeemed. Partly paid preference shares cannot be redeemed. If they have been partly called up, a call needs to be made. The preference shares have to be fully paid up and only then they can be redeemed. If there are calls in areas, these preference shares, the few shares which, are, which have calls in areas cannot be redeemed and only the balance shares would be redeemed. So please remember, only fully paid up preference shares can be redeemed. Next, it says that preference shares can be redeemed either out of the proceeds of a fresh issue of shares or out of profits available for distribution. Out of proceeds of fresh issue of shares. This means, suppose we have equity share capital of say 10 crores. We have preference share capital of 6 crores and we have creditors and other liabilities, outside liabilities of 10 crores. What this says is that if these preference shares are to be redeemed, they need to be replaced with new shares or with new preference shares or with new equity shares. So if 6 lakh preference share capital goes out, new preference share capital of 6 lakh will come in or new equity share capital of 6 lakh will come in. Therefore, preference shares can be redeemed only out of the proceeds of a fresh issue of shares. This is one. Or they say, alternatively, it may be out of profits available for distribution. What are profits available for distribution? Maybe there is a profit and loss balance. Credit balance, of course, because a credit balance represents accumulated surpluses. A debit balance is accumulated losses and obviously not available for distribution. It is negative. Profit and loss, credit balance. Or it may be a general reserve. What is a general reserve? A general reserve is a free reserve. Free reserve meaning a reserve which has been uh, a free revenue reserve. What is a free reserve? It is free or available for distribution as a dividend. Revenue reserve? Because it has been uh, it has been created, it arises from revenue profits, that is everyday business activities, that is from the profit and loss account every year. So it is either out of a profit and loss account or the general reserve or some companies keep a dividend equalization reserve, which is also a free reserve where Profits are transferred to a dividend equalization reserve so that the rate of dividend which we pay to equity shareholders can more or less be maintained at a uniform rate. These three would be our free reserves available for distribution as dividend. So the Companies Act says that preference shares can be redeemed out of the profits which are available for distribution. So what that means is that here we would have equity share capital of 10. The preference share capital of 6 would go. So there would be no preference share capital. This is nil. Yeah. And we have reserves, free reserves maybe of 6 lakh, which are going to be transferred to an account called capital redemption reserve account of 6 lakh. This is reserves, not capital. What is the feature 
of capital redemption reserve this capital redemption reserve which has been created by transferring free reserves by transferring some balances from profit and loss account or general reserve or dividend equalization reserve this capital redemption reserve can be used for only one purpose that is for the issue of bonus shares it can only be used for the issue of bonus shares or it remains as is in the balance sheet therefore in a way we can say that it is as good as capital because there is no other use to which it can be put so capital redemption reserve will either remain as capital redemption reserve or they will become equity share capital at some point in time so just like out of when it was out of the proceeds of a fresh issue of shares when share capital preference share capital of 6 crores went out new capital of 6 crores came in the capital structure remained the same when it is out of profits available for distribution the capital preference share capital went out of 6 crores and what has come in now is no capital capital continues to be has actually reduced to 10 crores but there is a capital redemption reserve which has been created for 6 crores the equity share capital and the capital redemption reserve together is now 16 crores which is the same as was before the redemption of preference share capital why is capital redemption reserve considered as good as share capital because capital redemption reserve can be used only for one purpose that is for the issue of bonus shares so it is either bonus shares that is it will become share capital or it will remain as it is so basically the company is at says that when we redeem preference share capital the capital structure should not be disturbed capital structure should not be disturbed it should not be disturbed the we will discuss the rationale behind this in a bit let us just cover one more provision of the companies act it says that the premium on redemption if any should be out of the securities premium account or profit and loss account what is premium on redemption if we have preference shares of rupees 100 each and we decide to redeem it at a premium of 10% it means each shareholder holding share pre preference share of rupees 100 will get rupees 110 so 10 rupees per share is extra money that the company is giving to the preference shareholder this 10 rupees is like a loss and this loss can be adjusted either against the securities premium or it has to be written off to the profit and loss account premium on redemption of preference shares can be set off against the securities premium if there is not enough securities premium it has to be written off to the profit and loss account at this juncture i will just repeat what are the four uses that the securities premium account can be put put to use securities premium account can be used to issue bonus shares it can be used to write off preliminary expenses it can be used to write off discount loss or any expenses on the issue of shares or debentures and it can be used to set off the premium on redemption of shares preference shares or debentures used only to write off premium on redemption securities premium cannot be used to redeem preference shares or debentures only it can be used it can only be used to set off the premium on redemption let us understand why the capital structure should not be disturbed what is the relevance of not disturbing the capital structure when redeeming preference shares
Suppose we have equity share capital of 5 crores and preference share capital of 4 crores and we have creditors of 3 crores and we have assets of 12 crores. So this is, let us say, an extract of the balance sheet, a rough extract of the balance sheet. Suppose the company were to get liquidated tomorrow, it is quite possible that these assets actually do not fetch 12 crores. Maybe these assets fetch 7 crores. Let us just take an example that assets, you sell assets and we get only 7 crores. What happens then? First and foremost, outside people, creditors or outside lenders have to be paid the money. They would get 3 crores. Now there is a balance of 4 crores. This would go to the preference shareholders. They would get 4 crores and that's it. Equity shareholders get nothing. They suffer a loss. They have lost the 5 lakh that they, 5 crores that they have contributed. This would be the scenario if the company were to be liquidated tomorrow and if the assets of 12 crores realize only 7 crores. It is just a simple example to understand the logic behind the provisions of the Companies Act. Now let us say that the preference share capital is redeemed before such liquidation. So what happens is now you have equity share capital of 5 crores. Preference there is no preference share capital. It has been redeemed therefore it is nil and we have creditors of 3 crores. On the other hand assets was 12 crores. We have paid cash of 4 crores and we have only 8 crores of assets. If this company were now to get liquidated, the amount that the assets will realize since cash has gone of 4 crores, this would be only 3 crores. Assets realize 3 crores and these 3 crores would have to be paid to the creditors. But the creditors are at great risk and if we had got a little less amount, these creditors would not have been paid at all. So the assets realize only 3 crores. All the amount is used to pay the creditors. In the previous case, after paying off the creditors, there was enough money to pay the preference shareholders. In this case, the creditors were just about paid. If a few lakhs less was received, the creditors would have even lost money. So when capital is redeemed or reduced while outside liabilities are there, the outside liabilities, the creditors or other lenders to the company, they are at greater risk. More the capital, greater is the cushion, the cover, greater is the support for the outside creditors. That is why when capital is reduced or preference shares are redeemed, the Companies Act ensures that the capital structure is not disturbed. If preference shares go out, new shares should come in. Alternatively, if new shares do not come in, we must have a capital redemption reserve which can be used only for the purpose of issuing bonus shares. Therefore, it is as good as capital. Therefore, redemption of preference shares by redeeming preference shares, capital structure does not get disturbed. Either there is a fresh issue of preference shares or equity shares. Not an issue of debentures, not an issue of other security, only issue of shares. Preference shares goes out, new shares comes in, 
or preference shares goes out and capital redemption reserve is created. Capital redemption reserve can be created only if there are adequate free reserves. Free reserves are represented by the profit and loss account, the capital sorry, they are represented by the profit and loss account, the general reserve account and the dividend equalization reserve account.